hi sunshines welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking if this is your first time here if this is your first time seeing this beautiful damsel hi i'm winifred carl and i'm a nigerian youtuber currently living in canada yeah you guys have moved base we've changed base you guys anywho guys today this is actually future winnie so i actually decided to film this video based on the requests i've been getting like i've been seeing messages and comments on what questions were you asked at the border you know at the canada immigration and all of that before entering into the canadian so before stepping feet foot feet <laughs> into the canadian soil so yeah i decided to quickly make this video before i get back to my vlogs so yeah if this is your vibe if you were asking such questions if you're part of people that dm'd me and sent me you know emails and all of that don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and also subscribe if you haven't already i don't know why you haven't subscribed but if you haven't already subscribe okay so let's get into it first of all when you're traveling make sure that you are with all your documents like all the documents you applied with pretty much make sure you put them in the file because a lot of times it's not the same question they ask a they are going to ask b so you can never really know what they're going to ask you from other people's experiences but you can have an idea of what to expect from other people's experiences so i'm just going to share my experience with you guys mine was like i thank god because mine wasn't as bad as uh, like i heard some people's own went like some people's own was like crazy they drilled them asked them like lots of questions and these people they are like psychologists so make sure you're confident in matter what they're asking even if you're not sure of the question ask you know you ask and also be confident when answering because when you start acting fidgety they start sensing that okay something is wrong and then they start trying to you know inquire more and trying to get to know why you are in canada and trying to just ask you, you know drill you just to make you feel more uncomfortable and then maybe you spit out what you're not supposed to say so yeah just make sure that you're prepared pray 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 do not underestimate the power of prayer because prayer is the key okay trust me you need to pray you need to um just be prepared okay prepare your mind be relaxed be relaxed they've given you visa b they've given you visa maybe it's just not the permit you need okay except maybe you are here on a visit make sure you know where you're going to okay so i'm going to list out the things you need to make sure of that you're with the things you need to ensure like tick them tick them tick them for you go to the airport board that plane and start landing canada make sure that you have all these things with you the first thing is make sure you have your financial statements like your banking statements and all of that proof of finances that okay i can take care of myself if that if you're your own personal sponsor if you're not your personal sponsor if your husband is sponsoring you or your father is sponsoring you or your uncle is sponsoring you make sure that you print out i would advise you to print out the recent statement but if not if like around the time you're coming to canada is like the same time around the same time like you got your visa it's not like maybe you got your visa in april and then you're coming to canada in september that's like too long so if it's like almost the same time that you got your visa that you're coming to canada you could use you could come with the statements that you used during your application like the i know you probably submitted mbs like the bank submitted it directly so you could have a printout of what you used to apply that's if you have it but if it's that you did everything like the bank did it and all you have is a printout um then you'd have to actually print out a recent statement because you can't start printing out the statement and just print out just like down to maybe the previous month or two months ago but if that you already have the printed financial statements that you used to apply then you can just put everything in your file put your landing documents every single thing that you applied you just put them in your file because it could just ask you any random question and then number two make sure that you have a definite place you're staying in don't just come and say oh i'm just um um i just want to go and book a hotel you just want to go and book a hotel like make sure that you have where you're staying like i'm not saying that you should have a permanent location a permanent address no but at least even if you're staying in your friend's place take your friend's address write it down put it in your notes in your phone and make sure that you have it handy when they ask you okay this is where i'm staying because you also have to include that in your um in the immigration um paper or immigration card they will give you even the one they will give you in nigeria you have to fill it before you even cross to the gates in nigeria you have to fill it so you need to know where you're going to if you're going to stay in a hotel 
make sure you already have it booked down if you're going to stay in an airbnb make sure you've already like deposited something like make sure you've already like even if it's just to book for two days at least let, have like a proof that you have somewhere to stay so that aside then when you now board the plane when you now land um you will first the first thing you're going to do is to get to a place that they call like the declaring point you're going to declare the things you came with see me personally i do not pack any vegetables i do not pack any fish i do not pack any chicken <laughs> like legit and i'm surviving okay i know that maybe it's going to make you spend more having to do groceries and having to start buying these things but me i i am not bent on oh i must eat nigerian food i pack noodles and that one i packed for sure and my noodles is still remaining okay and it's been weeks so yeah i packed some noodles maybe you can pack enough to last you for a month or something but if you're not really crazy about noodles and you really like your nigerian food and here you can pack dry vegetables just make sure you avoid chicken make sure you avoid kilishi because that's like that's meat make sure you avoid just avoid all those chicken things that they said because you don't want to put yourself in a situation where because the place you might land like i landed in montreal montreal international airport you might land and i heard in toronto like in toronto it's it's they draw you and sometimes there are dogs there to smell to sniff you so in case you are lying that you do not come with chicken or you, <laughs> you don't come with chicken or you don't come with like you know some of all those things that they said you shouldn't come with they they will smell you and they will they will point you out literally so this is based on what i've heard so i heard toronto they are like quite they drill you so make sure even when you are picking a place to land in canada like be smart I would advise you to avoid Toronto, except your school is in Toronto, and then you just pray to God. I'm sure everything will go fine. It cannot be that bad, you know? But I landed in Montreal, and you guys legit. I mean, it was crowded. The declare area was quite crowded because, you know, people are maybe not just my own airline, but like people are already trying to enter into Canada. So, what I did was at first I, I had difficulties in trying to scan my passport because I didn't know how to do it. I was asking, everybody I was asking seemed like a novice. So, I just had to figure it out myself so i don't have i don't know if i'm able to like graphically explain how you can do it but i'm sure when you get there you'll figure it out like you just have to put your passport the biodata page just put it properly on the scanning thing for the declare that after you finish okay i think you scan it first and then you declare you say okay i did not come with fish i did not come with me too or i came with this i came with that make sure you're honest because they might just single you out and decide to like actually check you and say okay well, let's find out if this person is actually telling the truth so just make sure you're honest in all these things because when you start lying you have to use another lie to cover lie another lie to cover another lie so just make sure you're very honest then what else am i not remembering um yeah so after the declare points when you're done declaring they declare they will it will print out something for you like a paper for you you take the paper with you so i asked like there was like this immigration officer there i asked him oh i'm gonna go get my study permit and then he said okay you can follow this you know you do just direct you basically so i took the printout my passport that had my um visa in it um that's the counter floor foil that's the visa okay i took it with me and obviously my files in my hand and then i was walking you know majestically i saw another lady that looked like a student she had like corn rolls so i was just i just guess maybe this person is a student like so i asked her she said yes she's a student so eventually when but when i met her i think she was really done declaring she was like trying to go get her study permit so eventually when i was done declaring when i went there like i my declare meant i figured out how to scan the passport it wasn't that it didn't take long it was like minutes i used to wonder why some people take like so long in the immigration it depends on how much queue you have where you want to go and get your study permit like my friend landed in vancouver and she told me that it was legit packed like they were filled up but funny thing is for my friend they didn't ask her any question they just um basically asked them for their um for their passport and their letter of um letter of introduction make sure that you print out your letter of introduction from your IRCC portal, they will send it to you after your visa gets approved. They will send it to you, letter of introduction or port of entry introduction. Let me put it that way, port of POE, port of entry introduction. Because funny thing is for me, they didn't, I don't think they even asked me for that port of entry introduction. It, it was that crazy. It was legit that crazy. But yeah, they will ask you, they will, most people, some people will ask you for it. So make sure 
your return even they will tell you there in the irc portal make sure you print it out and you're going to canada with it because the immigration at the border will probably ask you for it because that's like the that's like the introduction ircc has for them like um part of entry uh, letter is basically irc is introducing you and telling them that oh this person has been granted this visa blah 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 so it's very important to so make sure you're with it and also make sure that you're with your letter of acceptance your official loa that your school gave you make sure you're with it and when you're also traveling if you have the chance of like getting your enrollment letter make sure you get it as well um i did not travel with enrollment letter because it wasn't even available on my portal but i traveled with something called travel letter even though it was not even useful there's something called travel letter on ucw portal i downloaded it or i didn't need it to be honest so yeah make sure you're with all those things then when i eventually got there when i eventually was done with my declaring you know the de declaring basically at that declaring section um i took my print out with my passport and then i went straight to after asking the officer he direct, he directed me and then i went straight to the you know the room where the hand the where they basically give you the issue you the study permit okay now a lot of people confuse this thing study permit is different from the visa on your this thing that visa is what you use and get a study permit study permit is a paper okay a paper with your you know with some of your details your passport number and this the like the your visa when it's going to expire basically so that's what you have to get you have to get to canada to get that one that's the main thing that you actually need in canada not that visa we are looking at that visa does not mean that ah when i land i am entering canada immediately no you need your study permit they need to approve that okay mm, yeah she was giving this visa okay okay yeah she knows what she's doing she's here for a good purpose they will not issue your study permits so there are situations where they will actually like legit want to turn you down like after getting visa i'm like are you are you mad <laughs> but yeah that's if you they ask you questions and you're not able to answer correctly or you're not you're not looking like you are genuine that's when they'll start having they start seeing those red flags so just be careful so when i got there i saw that the the lady she's also black like she's i don't know where she's from but she's like she's my race basically and i saw her i was like are you done she was like yeah that she has gotten a study permit you guys i'm talking minutes i was like huh how did this happen I, you guys if you know the kind of preparation i'll be preparing for immigration check oh jesus i was preparing myself because i was like hey god do oh, jesus what are they going to ask me i'm not in the mood for all these questions and I, I just want to go and rest because imagine going through all that journey ah god bless that man that attended to me going through all that journey and then they, they start they start bombarding you with questions even if like you are there for a genuine purpose like genuine cause all those questions can even put you off like because you're not even sometimes might even be destabilized because of the journey and just how tired you are so i don't even know why they should even be bothering asking people too many questions when I mean, they are students and they can see that yeah you've paid your tuition deposit if i forget please also come with your tuition deposit um receipts like the school fees receipts make sure you print it out be with it i also printed out my basically all the documents i i used to apply i am going to put up a video where i because my visa took like a month i know i know <laughs> it's crazy right canadian visa taking a month huh? some people's own takes three months some people's own takes weeks so it just depends okay but yeah i'm going to put up a video maybe after my next vlog i'll put up a video i'm um, explaining the process and also the agents i used and the documents i submitted to for for my canadian study visa and all of that so watch out for that video make sure you like and subscribe okay okay that encourages me so as i was saying so i was like so shocked i was like wow it took it was really fast so when she now left um that place was like there was no many students there i was literally when she left i had just one person in like there were three immigration border agents there was only one man one white man he looked elderly maybe he would be in his early 50s like he had white not white complete white hair but he didn't look like he's in his 30s maybe late 40s and maybe early 50s maybe late 40s let's put it that way or early 50s one of them but like he's like 
a very mature man it's not like one young guy like that so that was the one he was there in the extreme he was then the, in the middle was a black woman and then the other end was a white lady i think was it asian I can't remember so there were like just three people that were issuing the study permit so in my head i wanted to actually go to the black woman because i was like ah one name my sister she understands she just will not ask me too many questions <laughs> So when I was now trying to go there, because there was a guy in front of me, a white dude in front of me, he now he was now, I think he was he now went there or something. I'm trying to remember. Um yeah, you know a white lady, dude or a white lady, I can't remember, but there was somebody in front of me. But the white guy or was already the white elderly white guy was already attending to someone. So eventually I was the one like in front. It was like my turn, basically, because there were not many people there. It was just like three people or so that were there and i was maybe the fourth person and i ended like somewhere that had space to go to so when the guy was done the person that um had the person that was in front of the white man was pretty pretty much done he had gotten his permits like the guy didn't even waste time so when he left me i just went there in peace because me i was busy looking at because i was standing in front of like i was in the mid the person in the middle was a black woman so i was thinking of going to the black woman because i just felt like you know the connection <laughs> But I eventually just went to the white guy because that was the person that his death got free first. So he just asked me. So I greeted him. Good um, evening. Good evening, sir. He was like, good evening. He was like, um, can I have your passport? I think, yeah, passport. I gave him my passport. I gave him my, my um, what's it called? That declaring receipt. After I declared the receipt that I printed out. So I gave it to him. He was like, um, okay, what are you here for? I told him to study. He was like, what's your what course i told him master in business administration master in, of business and business at <laughs> ba i don't even remember, can remember what i was answering but his master in business administration so that was what i answered and he asked me um when are you when is your school resuming i told him we are resuming to we are resuming on monday that was on saturday night i landed on saturday night so i was like we're resuming on monday um okay no he's asking when are your le lectures starting um, so I told him we are resuming on Monday, but my lectures will start like the upper Monday. So he was like, okay, ah, that was it too. Legit, you guys, that was it. So Shah did what he was doing, blah, 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 blah. Wrote down something on a list of names. I guess for the people that they've issued, he wrote it down, there were a list of names there. Wrote it down, did his computer. Something started printing out. I saw it, so the stuff, told the permit that was printing out. I was like, gang, gang. Yes, so came on. Hey, hey. <laughs> the thing printed out. Did pa, 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 pa. Um, he said, uh, "Good luck." Literally, just said, "Good luck." Oh my! I took my study permit. I was just blushing. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I was blushing. Took it, and yeah, that was it. Just two questions: What are you studying? And have a lecture started? That was the only two questions. And see, when they ask you questions, don't start over explaining. Don't start over explaining. The thing is, I said this my school was the only thing I answered. Okay, what is my course? I told him MBA. Then when is have my lecture started? I told him it will start. My school is resuming on Monday. Is resuming on Monday, which was the next tomorrow. But my lectures will start the upper Monday. That was the only question I answered. Like that was the only thing I said. So don't start explaining. Oh, this one, this one happened. Oh, that one, that one happened. Oh, okay. Oh, can you call? Oh, we have public holiday on Monday. So my lectures will start on Tuesday. We'll just say this, this, that. My school is resuming tomorrow and my lectures will start next week. Period. Don't over explain in this kind of things. Just make sure that you're just straight to the question, straight to the point. Um, maybe I should have answered next Monday. Or something but i just wanted them to know that okay my school is remaining this week for nso and all of that and my lectures are starting the upper way but everything worked out well and i'm thankful to god because it was just god that made it smooth it was good that made it smooth i landed the day that everything was just smooth basically because you know they didn't drill us and the place was empty it's not like they had too many people that oh they are too tired to come and start asking each and every one of us questions it was empty they wanted to deal with somebody they will drill you so please i highly recommend you can go to Montreal. You know, it's just that they speak french in the airline they speak french around like you most likely see a lot of french speaking because it's a french speaking area of canada so if you're going to lord in Montreal, you're gonna be in trouble i got lucky that my husband's cousin came to pick me up and we drove two hours to his place in Ontario. If not, I would have had to lodge and then I would have had to start communicating with French, which I don't really know how to speak well. So, <laughs> yeah. 
anyway guys that was pretty much it took my study permit with the printout make sure you don't throw your printout away you need your printout still so you're going to take the printout go to your baggage claim take your luggage and then when you guys are going out don't throw your printout away oh, listen <laughs> when you're going out though look at the printout again that declaring stuff to show you that you still need the printout so make sure whatever you are declaring it is it is the truth okay so yeah after the checking one last time on that exit you cannot exit and enter into the promised land <laughs> enter into canada pretty much i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i decided to come and quickly make this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the canada series and also if you have any questions because i'll probably do a q a soon for like you know to just answer random questions about canada that people have been asking me so if you have any questions leave it in the comment section if there's any particular thing you want to see in my whole Canada living vlogs, leave it in the comment section. If you want a house tour, this is the way I'm staying, you guys. For now, it's for these first few months or something. For now, Sha. If my family joins me eventually, leave it in the comment section. Any question you have. If you guys want a house tour, a room tour, a house tour, room tour, all of the above, leave it in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. I am so excited for what is to come, for what we are currently, you know, achieving right now. Um, God is great. And anyone that is wishing to come to Canada, may your dreams come true. May God grant you all your heart desires. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace, guys. <laughs>